What? Too late for Halloween? Okay. Then I'll show you something else. Welcome back to Motor Archery. Today we have a product review of a new developed backstop arrow catching material. That's first of all heavy. So this is 2 meters by 80 centimeters. Has a lot of loops on them and on this loops is now written hobbyimgarten.com because it's from this company. They developed this. It's stretchy, so that means you know it will catch some arrows. Has six layers, I think, but let me check quickly again. Let me reconfirm. That's interesting. So this is uh, I said the company name is hobbyimgarten.com. It's a company in Ravensburg in Germany. It's from Iris and Stefan and they create these backstops. This one has eight layers, sorry, excuse me, it's eight layers. Right now the price of this one, 80 by 2 meters, is at 115 euros. When you take one, this is the pro version, then they will have a six layer version, maybe for hobby or leisure shooters or something like this. And of course you can have these loops then even with your own logo on it when you're in a club or a company or whatever. And what they always give you is here a small hint. Attention, our backstop uh, is only a training device. It's not a, a protection for persons or protection for items. It must hang freely, never direct on a target. Otherwise, the arrows can bounce back and you only use the backstops with non-damaged arrow tips. So safety always first and now we hang this thingy so oh thank you that <clears throat> tuck these are your thumb rings i will ship them today uh, it's heavy eight layers so i think it can take a punch so now i hang it back there somewhere and then we will treat it really badly <laughs> i have now the, the backstop roughly at seven, eight meters. And I shoot now a 30 pound slick stick with lightweight arrows at it. Look at this, a little heavy arrow, heavy hunter. Looks cool. Look at this, as long as it hangs freely, it really absorbs the energy. compared to the safety net back there. You always have, it looks always like you penetrated a little. Feels like it does a better job. I only don't know if it's weather resistant, if you can leave it out in the rain. But you know, you still can ask them. i leave you the link in the description. But it's really, really good. So, 30 pounds, slick stick, no problem. Wouldn't be me if we only shoot 30 pounds. 50 pounds and the heaviest arrows I have, they are six, 700 grain. Now we should feel a little or a lot more impact. Look at that, huh? Stops everything, huh? I always try to hit at the same spot, kind of. So we see if we get their penetration. Wow, so even heavy arrows. 
no problem. That's great. So if you need something which stops all your arrows, wow. I'm impressed. Works great, but so this is only now the dirt of the arrow tips because they're a little rusty, but you can't see any penetration there. So there's nothing, no hole, nothing. So even these heavy arrows, there's a small one, see, there we get it. So if you shoot, oh, well, there we are, focus. See, there we have a small hole. So when you have a damaged arrow tip, you can scratch it. But I think this is still impressive. But we are not done yet. Hardcore test. These nice arrows from Flagella Day. I will shoot three of them with these nice tips and three with really pointy botkins they usually go through everything so of course you don't want to shoot at this backstop with these arrows but you know we need to go through the paces and see what this thing is capable of so i shoot first these three arrows with the wider tips and then the three botkin ones stay tuned i shoot a turkish bow 40 pounds uh-huh so you see already these ones go through. Mm -hmm. So I only shoot two of them and I shoot one of the botkins. So now you see, depending on your, I shot by the way with a Taylor bow Turkish, Taylor archery Turkish bow, oh Madonna. So you see with these tips, oh. So with historical tips, like these ones here. Oh, aha, uh -huh. now we are in trouble. Huh. That's okay. So these tips, you don't want to shoot there. They go through, but everything else, even Manchu, heavy Manchu arrows with 50 pounds, no problem but they are simply too lethal, so you don't want to shoot these historical tips for this backstop. So this one still, when you have a haystack behind, that's fine. So you see the limitations of the material, but other than that, you can shoot everything at this one. So we had up to 50 pounds, 700 grain arrows, and they didn't do anything. Maybe a small hole in, in, the, in the cover, but you have eight layers in it, so no problem at all. I like that. Maybe you could even put your uh, print on it, a logo on it or something. I don't know yet. Really, really nice. So, and for the price, 115 euros so far. It's a little more than the safety nets, but it's way safer. So, finally, we have some Christmas music going on. So, what to say about eight layers, as long as you shoot with field tips, this kind of botkin tips, you know, kind of like, like, like the botkin, the normal standard botkin tips, it's fine. And I shot now up to 50 pounds and 700 grain arrows. So that's quite an impact. And you didn't see anything once it made a, a slightly hole in the first layer. So it's already, I don't want to say the limit, but you know, for, average shooting everything fine you simply don't want to shoot some really historical arrow tips or something like this because they simply go through but what happened now is when you move this thing a bit the layers move inside of each other so the hole even if you see it there it doesn't go through anymore. So even if you would hit now this hole again, the arrow will not go through because the layers inside move a little and then they rearrange. So we have again a nice 
protection. So that's very good. Because when a normal safety net has a hole in it, you hit this hole, the arrow goes through. Here, even when you hit the hole, because of the eight layers, moving layers, no hole. So that's, that's impressive. And then for the price, I think it's okay. It's easy to handle. You take it with you. Of course, you need to make sure now it's white. I think they will get it in other colors uh, that it doesn't get dirty. But you have these, these loops on two sides. So you can hang it length or up uh, portrait or landscape, kind of. You know what I mean? You can have your logo on, on, the, on, the, on the loops. What I would like to know, or maybe I will try it, because when you think this would be nice for 3D parkours, that you put this one hanging some sort of behind your, your 3D animal. And then you maybe could even spray paint it in a slightly camouflage pattern so you almost don't see it. So it would look better than these foam parts they have behind the 3D arrow targets or the, the normal green safety net, so maybe. And I would say I would sacrifice the first layer for spray painting on it. And I still have seven layers to go, which will stop the arrows just in case you miss the target. So very good idea, very well made. I think there's a lot more to come from them. They are usually, it's a, it's a, garden, a garden supply shop, but they are arches and of course then they they think and they, they, you know, think what can they do. So they develop this one, the price for me, 115 euros right now. When you take one from them in this size, it's okay. Most probably you get them bigger too, but of course, and they're heavier, shipping might be then an issue. But you know, this is a good starting point. So continue developing. I'm very happy. So Stefan and Iris, Thank you very much for sending this to me. I really like that and I will think now where I put this into practice and maybe sometimes you will see it in my reviews because I have it somewhere and shoot at it or don't shoot at it but use it as a backstop. Very good. Thank you very much, Stefan and Aris. I will put the link in the description so you can check out, you can get it from them. And for the rest, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.